We all know that something can be one dimensional, like a line, or two dimensional, like a square. We can't imagine, but we can at least comprehend that something can be four or five dimensional. But how can anything be 1.59 dimensional? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Lewis Richardson asked himself if the length of country's borders has anything to do with the number of wars this country had gone into. However, while collecting data, he found that the smaller the ruler was, the longer the border was. You may think, that's obvious, the smaller the ruler, the more precise the measurement is. But what was not obvious was that this measurement didn't converge to any finite number. Instead, the length was infinite. Although the area of the country is finite, the perimeter is infinite. That is the famous coastline paradox. Of course, in reality, the ruler smaller than, for example, one centimeter simply doesn't make any sense, and so we can't say it is infinite in a pure mathematical sense, but for practical reasons we can. The formula found by Richardson was the following. The parameter d is different for different coastlines. So the length of the coastline is infinitely big, and different coastlines exhibit different behavior. That is in coastal with a regular, smooth curve. It has a well-defined length, which we can find. That means we found a new class of objects, and a new entity other than length is needed. Benoit Moldebrod suggested to call these objects fractals and interpret the d parameter as the dimension of the fractal. As we previously saw, it can take on any value, even fractional, hence the name fractal. Such object with dimension d is higher than its topological dimension. To put it more formally, imagine figure f lying on an evenly spaced grid and count how many boxes n of size delta are required to cover it. The smaller the box, the more of them we would need. If this function n is proportional to 1 over delta to the power of d, we can say that the figure f has a fractal dimension d. This is called Minkowski or box counting dimension. There are other definitions, but we won't deepen into that for now. There have been discovered many types of fractals. These objects are self-similar at every scale, very simple in construction, but infinitely complex in essence. We can roughly think of the fractal dimension as of how much space a fractal covers. Obviously, it doesn't cover entirely any area, so its dimension is less than 2. At the same time, it is no ordinary line, so its dimension is bigger than 1. Which brings me to piano curves. Giuseppe Piano discovered the first curve that could fully fill up some area on the plane. Think about it. How can anything that has a zero width completely cover an area of a square, for example? Piano's findings were quite groundbreaking at the time. As you may have guessed, this curve has a fractal dimension of 2. Another example of space filling curve is Dragon Curve. If you managed to stay up to now, you are probably wondering, what all of this for? Of course, there are no real fractals in the world, but there are approximate, almost fractals, that are found everywhere. Besides, they are simply mesmerizing.